Carrie, I appreciate you having us very much here, and I'm going to get off and listen in, and uh, thank you all for coming on the show, all right? Okay. Uh, that was Bob Willoughby running for District 10 uh, against uh, Gina Bivens. Ms. Bivens, I, listen, I am convinced Bob Willoughby has a crush on you. Uh, <laughs> I'm just convinced he does. Uh, are you are you accepting his challenge to a debate, or, or where do you want to go with that? No, I deal in facts. And Bob doesn't deal in facts. He has his own set of facts, and I deal with, with facts. I also know what Bob brought to City Hall. He had a code compliance case dated back to before I was even elected, and that's what triggered his interest, and he comes all the time. The interesting thing, though, Carrie, is I agree with Bob on some things. Uh, Bob believes that we should have better signage when there are zoning cases. I believe that's true. But one thing that I really take issue is that he, he tells people, I took away people's property rights by rezoning their properties. That was done at the request of people trying to preserve their property rights. So, no, I'll debate with Bob at the proper forums that most of our different organizations host. I think the NAACP will be hosting one. Uh, usually there is a, a forum hosted by East Fort Worth Business Association, and so there are some forums where all of us are invited, such as yours, and I'll be able to see then, but I have no interest in seeing him before then, and we don't do political things in the parks with the city of Fort Worth, and so that, I don't know if that's legal or not, but we try not to bring politics to park. Okay. All right. Is Council Member Bivens aware that Sandy Lane Park has more drug dealers than children? Council Member Bivens would attend candidates in the park, if it was not for the fact that Councilmember Bivens has a lot to hide. 